Okay, so based on some feedback, there's some confusion of how Mastodon works. And I, I wanted to do a quick video about choosing a Mastodon server, why it's important, why it's not important. So if you go to joinmastodon.org, here we are on the main page, it's a, a, in a central hub. What you really want to do is look at the servers. And so the idea with Mastodon is it's not one server. It's a community of servers. It's the Fediverse, and this is what they're trying to represent here with this diagram. I made a video about Fediverse and Mastodon, but I just really wanted to focus on how to choose a server. So I would say just choose the most popular server or a server that someone you know is on. That's one choice. But you could also make you know a search here. On this site, you'll notice one thing they say is this is safety. All of these servers have agreed to this server covenant where they're like basically being good. Okay, and you can look at the, you know, what's the server covenant that we're active moderation of racism, sexism, homophobia, transphobia, um, daily backups that they're going to give you a warning of at least three months before they close down the server. I'll get back to that in a second. So you could do a search here. Maybe you only want English. Maybe you want ones that are in Spanish. Maybe you want ones that are in German. Maybe you really don't care and that accept all languages. Um, maybe you want something that's uh, South America based. Maybe you want something that's a specific topic based. Maybe an art server. Um, you could make a decision on the server based on something like this. Or you could just go with mastodon.social. Right? This is one of the main servers. Important things to look at when you do find a server. Okay. One thing that I like when you navigate to some servers is it'll give you a timeline like Mastodon Social. It's more open. So you could see a timeline. I wish all servers would do this so you can kind of get an idea of what's being posted there. Um, but not all servers are that open. What you want to look at is you want to go to their about page and you want to find information about, you know, what are, what are their policies. So I'm going to go to Mastodon About. It talks about this is how they're funded. You might want to go into some details about it. Moderation. You want to look at the server rules. Okay, These are the rules that they put out. And, and if you don't agree with these rules, then this is not the server for you. The other thing you want to take a look at as well is the moderated servers. You can see that they are giving limited access to some of these servers and some of them they're completely suspending. That means that you won't get in your feed on this server information from these other places. They're blocking them. And this is why, in a way, choosing your server is important. Because if you're on one of these servers that's getting blocked by other servers, nobody will see you. Um, not, not completely true, but in, in a way, that's, that's why it's a little bit important to choose a server that fits for you. Okay, for example, I chose Fostodon because I've got a background in open source software and, and being a user of open source and I really, really think it's important to be connected to that community. So I've chosen this community. Um, it was a little bit difficult for me to choose this community because when I look at the server rules, one of the server rules that kind of makes it tricky for me is this one, only toots in English. Toots is a, like a tweet, a post, um, that it's only in English. And there's a good reason for this, and they, you're going to follow the link and, and see why they're saying this, but it's because every server agrees, and that's part of this you know, covenant of, of, of Mastodons being publishing these servers as options, is they will monitor and uh, police, I guess police is the wrong word, but um, moderate their sites moderate what people are posting on their sites to make sure that the people on their site are following their rules. And since this is all volunteer based on all, pretty well all of these sites, is they don't have the person power to moderate multiple languages. So they decided, you're on our server, you want to live here, only in English. Um, so I did choose because of lots of reasons. It's a little bit tricky for me to join this one because of the English only because I also speak in Spanish and work with my students here in Mexico. But I decided this was the best fit for me. But there's other ones. Um, and by the way, uh, I'll put all the links down below in the description of the video of anything I open up here. Um, there's a nice article on, on Wired about this site. Uh, Fostodon and how they got overloaded and they had to increase their server capacity and it's happening on almost all the servers. 
it talks about a little bit of background on the server that I'm on and it also points to this one the InfoSec Exchange which I'm also interested because um, I do work in, in cybersecurity. I'm the director of a cybersecurity program here in the Tech de Monterrey in Guadalajara. So I'm also interested in the cybersecurity community. I could have joined this as my home, um, but I decided I'm more on the open source side. You could have multiple accounts on different servers, but I prefer just to have one, one user. And one thing I do like is if you go take a look at each server, you can, I'm just trying to find, and there's the server rules again, and the moderated servers, and then there is, um, ah, I saw this yesterday, darn it. Um, you could explore, and so there, I can explore who's posting here. I can see the local feed on this timeline, so it is true, I can, I can see what's going on on this server. And I can see, you know, this is people who live on this server, these are the types of posts they're making, and I could, you know, navigate and decide, do I want to join this server? And I think that's the most important one. There's profiles directory, that's what I was looking for, sorry for the delay. And then the profiles directory, I can kind of look, you know, what kind of people are here and, and, and see, maybe I could find someone I'm interested in. You could actually do a search and look for people, but you can make a decision based on the server you're on. Now, I want to just drag over another window here um, as soon as I get it open. So here is, and I don't think I'm exposing anything private, but let me just quickly, in another browser, I've got my Mastodon view open. Oops, wrong button, Ken. Um, there we go, I wanna open that one. Okay, so here's my view of Mastodon. I'll talk about how to configure Mastodon, etc. But right now, the reason it's not important to choose the right server is I can follow people that are on other servers. So Ben is on another server. He's in fact runs his own instance, his own private instance of Mastodon, which you could do if you're nerdy enough. Ben's on a different server. Suzanne's on a different server. Um, almost all the people I follow or, or see in my timeline, they're on different servers. I can choose to follow them, right? So I could follow this person just by you know, looking at their post, maybe I'm interested in what they're doing, and I could choose to follow them. And, and there we go. Um, I'm following that person. Um, but I don't have to be on their server to follow them. That's the really important thing. What's important about choosing the right server is there's a local timeline. So let me just go back and back and back here. There's this menu here in the web interface where I can look at the federated timeline or the local timeline. I've got the local timeline pinned here. Um, this is people that live on my server, on fostodon.org. And if I choose a server that has interest to me, this local timeline is actually interesting to me. When I lived on mastodon.social, it's just a massive server with just random people. Um, I joined it six years ago. It was pretty well the only option back then, but I decided local timeline was useless to me, so I wanted to find a right home that fit me. That's why it is important to choose the right home, but it's not critical. You don't have to be on the right server to follow the right people. Um, there's issues with the blocking and all sorts of things, and you need to think about, you know, is your server getting blocked, or does your server you choose block other servers? So that's why I think it's really important to choose the right place. Um, my student's just joining in here, so he's probably seeing me recording a video. Um, that's why I think it's an important choice to make the right choice of the server, but it's not critical to choose the right server, and that's pretty well the video, and I probably went too long.